Clint, welcome to Aberdeen, uh, both the club and the city. Just arrived last night, I believe. Um, excited to get going. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, can't wait now. Can't wait to get going. Flew up last night, and uh, and obviously we today is a busy day of getting to getting to meet players, staff, and um, yeah, look forward to get get uh, getting on the grass and, and get going tomorrow. Coming up from England, obviously, where you've spent all your coaching time. What was it that attracted you to to move up to Scotland? I think my initial conversations with with Emma, Steve, and and Gav were good, and and I know about the club and I know about the women's league up in, up here in Scotland. So uh, I think when I initially spoke to to Emma and and came up, I was I was drawn because of the the project here and and where the club want to go. Um, good meetings with, with with those guys and find out a little bit more information about where the club want to want to position themselves going forwards. So yeah, it was exciting. So it was a it was a it was kind of a no brainer for me. Um, when I was offered the role, and it's obviously a, a big kind of sign of commitment from yourself to to move up from down south as well to come and live in Aberdeen. Yeah, definitely. It was it had to be right for me, you know. Obviously, family and things for me to make the move up. But I think that when when you know, like I say, speaking to speaking to the guys here and and what they what they see going forwards for the club, um, it kind of gave me the confidence that it was the right decision to, to come up. Um, Definitely the right club. There's no question of that. So, um, yeah, it, it was it was an easy decision to make in the end. A lot of experience coming up from both the women's and the men's game, and a lot of experience working with younger players. Obviously, Aberdeen was the, I think the youngest squad in the league last season. So that's something that um, will be a draw for you, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, my time at Chelsea, Palace, Watford, wherever I've been, I've worked with young players, either you know academies or under 21s under 23s and obviously with the first team so a lot of the sides that I've worked with I've, I've tried to um, try to make sure there's been a, a good balance of, of youth and then senior experienced players as well but I think it's important that, that there is that blend but what I like about some of the younger players and work with the younger players is the hunger and the and and you know the drive that they've got to to reach the top and to and they're ambitious a lot of them so I share that ambition, so I enjoy work with the younger players and as well as the senior players. So it's good that we've got that here and got a good balance. Yeah. And what about the, the SWPL in general? Is that something that you paid close attention to when you were down south? Yeah, it is. Um, it's. I know it's. It's a competitive league. There are clubs there that, if, you know, if we're honest, that have, have maybe um, um, initially thrown a lot at it. And there's clubs there that are, you know, are, are still kind of. Um, in kind of a betting in process and, and, and certainly looking to compete. And I know that we're one of those clubs that certainly looking at the results over the last couple of years, there's been a, a real mixed bag in results. And But that's the stepping stone to, to going forwards and to competing with those sides that are, you know, that are near the top end of the, near the, top end of the league. And, and that's the aim going forwards um, is to, to build and look to compete against those clubs and really challenge ourselves. First training session with the players is tomorrow night, I believe. Um, don't think you've had a chance to meet too many of them yet, but do you know anything about the squad at all? Have you had a chance to look at that? Um, so I've met two of the girls just a minute ago. I know that there's a, it's a relatively young squad um, from, speaking to, from speaking to staff involved previously. It's a, it's, certainly the squad are really keen. They want to get going. Um, they're really keen to get back in. They can't wait to get back into training, So, which I'm looking forward to. Um, some experience in there, but I know it's a, it's a relatively young squad. Um, which I'm, I'm familiar with, having worked with young groups before. So um, I'm looking forward to getting to know more of them as we go on and obviously look forward to meeting them tomorrow at training. And I guess getting up on the training pitch is the, kind of, the moment you're looking forward to the most after today's out of the way and the meeting everyone and things. Yeah, definitely. Can't wait to get back out now. It's been a, it feels like it's been a long pre-season. And, oh, sorry, a long off-season. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to getting back in tomorrow and, and getting back out there and... We look forward to that first game against Motherwell on the 13th.